Hi everybody, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Mariana and I hope up till now you've had a good conference so far. Uh, the biggest social business summit held by McGill until now. And um, I'm here today to share with you how my involvement with my vision led to um, the development of my career in the field of social business. So taking a step back uh, maybe three years ago when I first heard about the social business model. At the time I was a McGill student and I was taking a mandatory course in the BCom program called Social Context of Business. Now my professor had given us a project where we had to take action and we had to find a problem in the university and solve it in a way that would still continue after we graduated. So I saw this as a super big challenge. Uh, I really wanted to dive into it because the other option was to write a conscious journal, to live consciously for about, I think, 30 days and just question everything that we did, how it affected people, why we had been brought up with the mentalities that we'd been brought up with. And I felt that the action project was a lot more interesting. So um, I went for it and I was looking around the university for different projects uh, that I could maybe join or different ideas, feedback from people. And when I <coughs> went to see the office, uh, the sustainability office, there was one other girl who was also there to see them about a project. Um, so I arrived in the office and I sat down and I, you know, I, I kind of pitched to them what my background was. I had done this and this and this, and this is what I wanted to do. And here was this girl with a solid plan to create a program, an academic program, to involve the social business model at McGill University. And of course, you know, I was so impre impressed, a little bit humbled because I found out that, you know, yeah, my intentions were good, but not quite as ambitious as this girl's. And as she explained the social business model, it uh, I started to realize that my passion for the socially for socially focused projects and and you know compassion for the community was coming in very nicely with my business degree. It was social business, and this girl's name was Joanna Klimchak. She is the co-founder of my vision. So from that day forward, Joanna and I got together um, to plan out how we could bring social business to the academic part in McGill. Um, at first, I saw it as something unattainable, something that students didn't have the right or uh, the precedence or, you know, the experience doing because it wasn't ours to bring to the university. This was my mentality before it ever happened. Um, but Joanna had already been speaking to a lot of professors. She had pretty much laid the groundwork and when I joined in, um, we found a way to uh, make it so that our work could be given some credit. So we did an independent studies course together um, with uh, Professor Emine Sergolu and we brought in courses that already existed at McGill that we thought would be relevant to the concentration in social business to uh, you know to develop a framework and then propose it to the undergraduate program committee and this is how it all started um, it was a big project to start with and it only came true after two and a half years it was finally approved it had to go through many levels of approval uh, but we were so happy that this actually ended up becoming um, faculty-student collaboration to bring forth a program that would bring value to McGill. And I really, uh, or Joanna and I both thought it was very important because uh, social business is a new way of doing business that uh, can really harness the business sector which has, you know, most of, uh, most of the power, most of the um, good marketing strategies and it was using it to solve social problems and we thought that this should be taught from an early age not only that but people should have students should have access to internships in the area from an early age that they should have hands-on experience they should have access to this network of people in the social economy um, at the university stage 
and um, we were very happy when when it came through and it'll be launching as you guys probably already know September 2014 it is called the concentration in social business and enterprise so uh, from here uh, Joanna and Yashri had started working on my vision and I um, you know was helping out a little bit on the side kind of laying helping them lay the foundations for the whole network and I joined in my vision McGill as VP communications and in the first semester we had a great team it was small but you know we had big intentions um, and unfortunately soon after that first semester of being at my vision McGill I had to leave because I was gonna go on exchange um, but my involvement didn't stop while I was in Singapore I continued to stay in touch with uh, the my vision McGill members and this is when we really started pushing for a my vision global network um, we started to take on projects such as uh, you know opening up my vision at Queens um, getting more involved in the organization of the young challengers meeting in other parts of the world uh, the year before we had attended the global social business summit in Vienna and we were planning to attend that year the one in in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia so um, with that vision already in mind we pushed forward and we met people in the network social business experts other students interested in the area and um, we tried to make something fruitful out of it uh, my career in the YCA specifically the YCA being Unicenter AIT um, happened because from that first conference in Vienna I met uh, one very cool connection from the Unicenter at AIT and we kept in touch and he proposed um, because they want to get more involved with youth that my vision and the Unicenter AIT along with two other organizations start some sort of collaborative competition called um, the YY contest so he envisioned uh, some sort of platform that would allow students to develop social business ideas to give you an example, there was a group of students in Japan two years ago that saw that there was a lot of makeup waste and um, a lot of girls were buying you know, their, their makeup material, lipstick, eyeshadow, and they used it for about six months and sometimes you know, they grew out of the color, they didn't like it as much and it just got thrown away without being used. So these girls came up with an idea which was to take this makeup material and convert it into art material for children by applying special chemicals that would make it easy to uh, put on paper and it would make it safe in case the children you know ingested it um, and this is the idea that won the, y the YY contest <coughs> in Vienna two years ago what we wanted to do was take this make it a cross-cultural collaborative competition where um, maybe the students in Japan <coughs> already had a way to solve the malnutrition that people were facing in Canada or maybe a student <coughs> in Poland had already dealt with some sort of health care pro pro problem that um, the United States was facing or uh, maybe someone in Bangladesh had already developed some sort of organic farm that they were trying to develop in Colombia and so we started working on this platform together um, we created a global team we met often on um, Google Hangouts and just from this experience uh, when a job posting opened up at the Unicenter AIT two people recommended me for it and um, I had not previously been thinking of applying to the Unicenter AIT but I saw it as an amazing opportunity and I jumped right into it the application process was long um, it was slightly rigorous I had to go through two interviews uh, they had to they specifically wanted to make sure that my personality fit well with the culture that they had at the Unicenter AIT and I kind of had to prove that to them um, <clears throat> I went as far as to um, ask Professor Eunice for a reference letter which um, I was able to get so it was all very exciting 
and uh, I've always liked to travel with a purpose. So whether it's doing an exchange in Singapore to learn the culture or working somewhere for a year or doing a language exchange somewhere for a year, um, I saw this as another opportunity to jump into that challenge and immerse myself in the Thai culture and here I am. Um, so right now at the Unicenter Center AIT, I'm working on um, this collaborative competition or this collaborative platform which we hope to have for you um, for this global social business summit which will be held in November in Mexico and um, it'll you can stay tuned it'll be coming soon and um, that's all that I'd like to share with you today I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the conference and um, continue to engage in this, these types of projects because they're really fulfilling. Uh, personally, it's what makes me wake up in the morning. Uh, it's what's led me to make so many friends within the social business network. It's given me travel opportunities. Uh, and now we, we'd like to offer uh, for you guys internship opportunities at Unicenter AIT. So you can take a look at that. And I hope you guys have a great evening. Um, keep it YY.